The people of Ovambo are dependent on several sources for their income. Though normally adequate for crop production, the rains often fail. Cattle and small stock are also important. Here the largest regional population makes more and more demands upon the land. Nearly half of the region's men are migrant workers in towns and mines further south. Drought and deterioration of the land has led to diminishing food production and increased dependency on food from outside sources. Insect build up is due to the continuous cultivation of the same crop on the same land every year. Continuous plowing causes the breakdown of soils and loss of organic matter. Over the last 20 years, there has been massive deforestation. The land is also being intensively and continuously grazed. Donkeys are the tractors of Ovambo. They also consume a lot of fuel. The majority of people live in the centrally situated Kruvalai flood plains. Grazing can be utilized because of flood water that reaches Ovambo from southern Angola. Animals and people depend on the water that gathers in the Oshonas, but within four months, all but the large Oshonas dry out. Some of the water seeps into the soil to replenish shallow underground sources. 
On average, 83% of the water evaporates shortly after rainfall. Only 1% is added to the groundwater. When the pans have dried out, people depend on water from shallow wells. There is not enough for them and their animals. Pipelines and canals bring water from the Gunene, but this is not enough. Scarcity of land with access to water remains a serious problem in the region. <laughs> Everybody has to join in when it comes to providing water. Water points are limited and far from home. In the dry season, people spend an average of 40 minutes carrying water required for daily use. Lucia Shialula's story is the story of most women in the region. There is in Ovambo land widespread dissatisfaction about land allocation. In past decades, people have had to buy land rights from cheap. Prices are high and no services are received in exchange for payment. When men die, it is common that their wives have to pay for the land again if they wish to continue using it. Helena Amunketa is a widow and mother of three returning sons. Her own plot is too small to provide food for the three sons and their children. <laughs> Helena Amunketa's sons will have to pay the chief for the additional land which they need. Over a year after independence, there is a well of anger in Ovambo land because the tribal system of indirect rule remains in force. Kaprivi is geographically isolated from the rest of the country. 
Because Caprivi has a higher rainfall and a more diverse ecology, it is often seen as a potential resource to be exploited. Although East Caprivi is bounded by rivers with fertile banks, much of the area away from the river is dry and the soils are infertile. Most Caprivi households practice mixed farming. They grow mahangu and maize and rear cattle. Caprivians cannot sell their animals outside the region, and there is only a small internal market. After the departure of the SADF, the FNDC slaughterhouse in Katima Molilo is now the sole commercial outlet. <laughs> Goliath Kalimbulula in Mubisa village complains about FNDC's monopoly of the Caprivi cattle market. Adding to the problems of low prices, the farmers' crops are regularly destroyed by wild animals. People who have to live from the land are not enthusiastic about the wildlife reserves and elephant footprints in their fields. In Caprivi, the Kuta is the seat of traditional government. All issues regarding land tenure and land disputes are dealt with by this body, which enjoys the respect of the community. Senior headmen regularly discuss land matters. They are answerable to Chief Morali Swani II, who represents traditional authority. The majority of people of Caprivi are generally happy to leave the land in the hands of the chiefs. However, not everybody is happy with the justice meted out by the Kuta and its chief.
The waters of the Zambezi are the subject of a proposal by Lonro. This project enjoys the approval of both the government and the Kuta. The plan is to bring water from the river to dry up Lake Liambezi. This will flood the Liambezi area in order to create arable land for sugar plantations. Farmers in the area will lose their fields and their land rights. The environmental and economic impact of this scheme is unknown. It is doubtful whether the Kuta has been given the information to make an adequate assessment. <laughs> People who lose their land rights often end up in squatter settlements such as the Pikari near Katima Mulilo. Insecure residents and the usual low wages paid by employers is what awaits them. The constitution of Namibia protects private property. It does not protect the land rights of people in communal areas. In the last 10 years, strong farmers in Ovambo have set up large farms in Mangedi. This has occurred through an FNDC scheme, as well as through people simply fencing off land. Now we have this farm for eight years. Uh, we started with 150 cattle. Now we got about 6,000. So what we do is uh, we just keep the cattle there because we can't find uh, the market for it. And uh, now we try to see if the government can help us and uh, we can get in the world market. In the dry season, many cattle in Ovambo are moved to grazing areas south and east of the Kuva line. This has been facilitated by boreholes supplied by government. In recent years, these traditional migration routes 
has been fenced off by wealthy farmers. Le <laughs> When land is granted to farmers by chiefs, no one can check how much is taken. Large areas are fenced off by the new land-owning classes. Some officials regard the process of spontaneous fencing as evidence of progress. These farmers use their grazing reserves when the communal areas are bare. Land which could be used by small farmers from the overcrowded communal areas is being monopolized by the wealthy. Many of these farms are owned by wealthy businessmen. Nampati Nagatingo and his partner have diverse commercial interests as well as the desire to justify their fencing off of communal land. Oh, Tango, el el yo siongo ya un panero como no cucha el panguerón de allá y monare oye que tal ya te dufa la mujer mucho na o cuida huya ya o pone un panero de cuche está topi cucha el el yo quiero puna un gumeno cuando agua no con el loca fara más así el panguerón de allá y cota gente yo puni no o cambaza la Oh, Ye should those farms already existing be legally recognized? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, pa me yuvo ku o pa un to kutara ku tu onde to gentanga, no ndu to gentanga. Yo no diri podas andina, ronda la te, ku to eri con ya, no ronda la te ni ni. 
Anoke gumo konya ro ni oma wa mbo ni mun. E gumo puni mun. Noke gumo kwa hadi mun ai tan. Noka puno nga makucho mpo una kukara ni mun ai jepe. Ashike rundi tali sipiti ka ke gumo akari ni mun. Ya ndu kite kucha nga mengi ka nda hupunga ne. Chonda ndi kondore ko ka kondore ka ye hono te kupitire mu imuna ye. No dubito genda ne kwa ko tumbo no shiri ya ne khara ashiko eni imuna. O ndu etere la kucha nao ya mata kucha ta ta kusa ko ma khara ne ngingi ni he. O dubito kucha o tuna ku va ko tuna ye tuna ku kara tuna ye uvo ko nyoka kucha ha tu geta tumbo no ma khara so ke khare e shona imuno yi. Kavango is well endowed with surface and underground water resources. There are also large areas of unutilized land. Three quarters of the population live along the banks of the Kavango River. The pastures further inland cannot be fully used because of limited boreholes. <laughs> Kukutwa pono mvura, kietuwa kare mvua guwa kutika ya makuma hatu, no haguwa kuo kono yofochi, mudi imbojetu. Mnima atuwa para nga maruwe ya mwange hinyambe hatu watu ya mba patudimatu wetu, pa mahangu. Mahangu, nge kutuna wana mwange mvura na roko, kukona kupokore motudi ya doto, toko na kukore sahane tukarika kuma, kumwa kakaro umambu wakaro kamvura. Ndami mku urta urta yetu urta yini batuwa urta nga yini onyingi, Wakaranga wene, gegu na wala mdutana, duma wawamana ka uisa, unamana ka uisa kengi kwa wala mshenyi, huku ula ka mwela kwe, no kengi. No kuninga shito, kano tu ngombe, to tupu, to kama karu mahu. Aya mahu yo kame mo, kona upehanu ke, hapare mo. Kene badu wa zingi ngombe, huni gafari kuri watu, huni gafari kupane badu imbo. Kene maangwe tunu mambiru, mkudima. Mambiru, kuninga shito mbiru wa yonenye. Wakara kei padi, angotu nga ngotu wane meyo pepu kwa wala kavangu. Mkuwana mei kwa wala kavango, kadiwe kero wenda yuwendo kumusiri kudi mangoma wa kudima, kadiwe kero, mei yushu kanu, kuya tisa imuna, patiko mei, kadiwe shoka kari kushoka mei 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 imuna nowe mbuka, kadiwe wa mei mei, isi matu ya ni kaenda kia kakana ndi, idima, mubi wa uwa uwi yawe, kaenda. Ndani kukutwa mwona kaya no ngombe keshi patitei, kana madiwe ni mambiru, Kukunia keshi ngombe ni diyo tapadi imbo, kukona vi kare kezi na yuwe ndo sikume nina katia nana nana kwa mfuna kwa hana kwa mfuna kwa hana kwa mfuna kare kia. Ila mutuwa nana sikutembe ni kuru mwana ngombe ya usha na kufa veni, ngombe tu wapu. The area's rich resources have attracted the attention of the FNDC and other outside forces. In the past decades, FNDC's large-scale irrigation schemes have consumed vast amounts of money without contributing to the development of Kavango. These highly capital-intensive schemes are unprofitable and of scant relevance to Kavango farmers. In addition, only a relatively small number of people are employed. Festus Karwapa has been employed by the FNDC for the last nine years. Naka nungura ambu mike muyu kwezi. Muyu gana ya inoka. Yoku tawe, yoku tekero iki. Noku nukuli mamu wai, mamadigo iki. Tani kuli tekera mema. Futokutu. Mboli ange na zumba. Yona uiza nyoku. Mwintani ya guwana mwe paru mpa mwintani ka paru ka kwa enoka. Uize paru kutuku. Wana wangena kere na honda ntani wa choi uka nunzara. Nesi nani wapu. Oiponda ngani monopo mho oiponda hambo mbali tupumo kwedi. Toka randa yi nsa kuzusu. Kuzeta jika kumbusa yi iponda kamu hambo ndatu. Nki yi ina upire ngetu. 
Nina ni pamkada ndina ndandia mwanga idwaya Iponye to rugala tipo mtu sino mushi no rugana Mo diwange na mono muirugana The previous Department of Agriculture and the FNDC aim to promote productivity along the lines of commercial farms. This has meant providing farmers who own large numbers of stock with fenced off land and boreholes. These precedents inform land allocation ideas in Kavango. Land allocation committees were set up in all tribal regions after independence. The chairman of the Guangali Land Committee explains. Ukaro wogo mtu ndi murio wogo mtu. Asitavu rusiri ukaruga na faramani. Nukutaru rasene si agakara no imuna. Murua mtu wogo gahe pana kuliti da performo, performo zendi, asigakara no imuna. Nye dogoro papa susitine nisitua kutaru rapo. Kutaru ratupu wogo mtu asigakara no imuna siri. Oyonga vura kutuara wogo farama. Oyonga vura kutuara mo farama. Kwa simari wa asimpe kapitua asikiko, asimitunga wana futi simari wa. Ya, asi kono faramangu do do tuwa gawa kumangeti Mwakara wa hundi liwa anasi waka wango Ya, ni mwa hundi liwa anasi waka wango Na uwa mwe wa guanamu Kwa wapo dono faramu Ya, mwurwa Kwa diwa pera mwkediza si Isu si rongwe sinta antani si mwetu Ngami biazi mwetu Ya, makura na uwa na pingu mwa dira ukara si Ukutunga momo shirongo saka wango na oyo towa pano faramu. Si sene sene kapi na dimbura si panakara udimbuo ngandi. Ya morwa si komitie na zo kwa rugana tazi taruru anawa. Ya za si mwene ya si kubura sika sikarete udigu. Nakura komitie ya sopo mwo suwa si kwa tara si Ngano ma nuche dono farama da hazat na dihi kwa ntu awa hana si ndi wakunda ponze za kawango. Ya, nani owene umonda za kawango ya wagwane sosizi mkwa mkonde mkanda na si paha kawiza manyegi ni ugumanzi kwa ntu. Kura dogoro popo katina mwona na wano wasi pakara manyegi ni ugumu wa ntu. Amit's untapped potential the population of Gavango struggle with birth and insect damage, lack of drought power, and falling soil fertility. They are largely unaware of moves by the land committees to make land available to outsiders. Mm -hmm. Jangan Simingwa, aja simba tak kena dalam kita ramu amu mungkin. Kebun pokok nak berikan juga nak ramu itu, dia kau jatuh. Mungkin mungkin kita tak ada kau susu agak ayam nak ada kau. Beri show orang ini. Ene, mungkin tu ada kau mesti tahu betul betul tujuan anda move. Oh move oh, wari kan anda wakar anda simba. Badu aku nak mesti ushim bepa sama himen. The old colonial policies continue to haunt Kavango. Land, services, and subsidization go to the well-off, while the rest must manage for themselves with a notable lack of support to improve their small-scale farming. The communities of eastern Bushman land have been living in a fine balance with the environment for thousands of years. 
their way of life and the unspoiled environment is under threat from herero pastoralists, elephants and lions, as well as tourists and hunters. In the face of these difficulties, Bushman communities are developing a new system of land use and leadership. Today, they are hunter-gatherers who also pursue mixed farming with crops and cattle. A democratically elected farmers' cooperative has been formed to assist the newly established settlements with their farming effort and to administer the land on behalf of the community. By working cooperatively, they are developing an approach to the administration of communal land. The Bushman or San traditional way of life is based upon Nores. Nores are roughly circular areas of land with unfenced borders. Each provides wild food and animal resources along with a water source. <laughs> To underpin the new way of life, the co-op assists with the establishment of elephant-proof water points. So the agriculture Ui Chapman became a co-op member after leaving long years of hard labor among commercial farmers in the Hobapis district. Farm 
Yeah, 